Hello my friends and welcome back to Rise of the Tomb Raider. In our last video we did end our day still in the Lost City but we have hit the point of no return so we are we are nearly there to wrapping up our time in this game. But anyway we are on the mission the Divine Source where we need to reach the Chamber of Souls and stop Anna. So let's let's get on that and just go and do it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Starting our day with crazy jumps already. <laughs> like, am I hitting the right button? I am. Alright, up we go. <sighs> oh, are we in the big boss fight already? All squads, I have a visual on Croft. She must not be allowed into the Chamber of Souls. Constantine. How do I? I don't think you'll be able to hit him. We'll keep trying. We're reloading the trebuchet. Hold on. We're not going to be able to hit him from here. I know. I've got to shoot the fireball in the air. Get what? ready. Let's try again. We're loading up the trebuchet. Hold on. It's ready. On your signal. Okay. Now. Here we go. Come down and face me, you coward. <laughs> right. Send in a squad. Now. I want her dead. Uh Okay, there they all are. Oh no 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 Laura, we're under attack! We're trying to get rid of this son of a bitch! You've got to get out of there! No, we're in this fight to the end! Thank you, Sophia! Ready. 
Still somewhere. Out of mushrooms. Find an exit. Okay, can I loot some of it, please? Because I am out of like everything. Oh, mushrooms. Thank you. That was a very, very intense and kind of ridiculous fight. I feel like Laura should totally have not survived that. Missiles being shot, she should be dead. Like, that should just be a thing. No, I don't want to. With the loot. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's a can. Uh, while I have a minute. Also, sh also shoot. No, we're gonna make. Okay. Now I'm somewhat prepared and ready to go. loot. Yeah, I need all the things for, like, my health <laughs> as well. So, I'm guessing Constantine finally died. Hopefully. I feel like I'm not gonna be that lucky, but, you know, maybe. Oh! Nope, wasn't that lucky. <laughs> hey, you took my bow!
phase me. Dang it. Yeah, it's like, be healed, dummy. <laughs> okay. This is going to be an interesting fight to get through. Just you and I now, Mara. You have no weapons, no allies, no hope. This place will become your tomb. We're gonna attack him here. Feel like he should have died. No! My destiny lies in the chamber of souls. I've come too close to be stopped now. I was kinda hoping you couldn't. Oh, nope. I knew him. When my sister infiltrated your family, I was there, watching from the shadows. Hey. Look here! I have you. Ah! He was a brilliant man, but he was weak. A coward. There! Come out! could have made him great. We offered him everything. It's not too late for you. Where is he? He would have helped me fulfill my destiny. It's fallen on you. Where is he? Don't cower as your father did. Be better than him, Laura. Rise above his failing. You. Dang it. I see. You can't refuse, Trinity. You think I can't see you? he would run out of ammo. I am the right hand of God. I am the flaming sword that will cleanse this earth. Got him! Finally! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Give me my bow back. <laughs> I'm gonna go kill your sister now. This, this is not my destiny. I was meant for greatness. This was never your destiny. Your sister let you believe that. I did it all. All of this. Don't you walk away from me. Wait! Trinity killed your father. No, you're lying. He begged for his life. And when that failed, he begged for yours. You're wrong! Shut up! Just shut up! He was a pathetic man. I pitied him. I like to think his last thoughts were of you. Laura. Okay, bye. Burn in hell. Yeah. And I'll loot you too. That's. I thought. I thought Laura's dad self deleted himself. I thought that was what happened, but. Um. 
maybe she's mis misremembering what happened to him. But anyway, we need to reach the Chamber of Souls and stop Anna. But now we're near enough to enter the Chamber of Souls, right? It's still all the way up there. Okay, we're, we're still not anywhere near where we need. Oh, we're in the Chamber of Souls officially. No, no, the game still says we're not. It's like it's confused. Oh, wow. That was way Your easier than I thought it would defeated. be. Your brother is dead. No. That's what Trinity has wrought. Death. And that's all they'll ever bring. Give this up. I gave up everything for this. I have no intention of giving it to Trinity. What about your father? You're dooming him to be mocked by history. How can you let this go? When you're so close. I'm willing to make that sacrifice. I can't let you take it. Think of the millions suffering and dying. We can save them. We can change the world together. The cost is too high, Anna. We aren't meant to live forever. Death is a part of life. That's easy for you to say. You're not the one who's dying. Well, technically. But this isn't about you. This is about humanity, about protecting what it means to be human. They're coming. We're surrounded. Oh. Jacob, look out! Jacob's here. <laughs> the source is not meant for the world. This is your chance, Lara. Everything I've done, everything you've done, another Croft doesn't have to die for this. But I'm willing to. Oh, there's there's the deathless ones. Well, I'm not. That's not gonna work. Please, I'm dying. This is my only hope. Laura, and just I shoot her! Yeah. I, what? <laughs> um, yeah, now what are we gonna do with it? think about how my father would turn over in his grave if he knew the shame I had brought upon our family's name. Croft, what does it even mean? I just hope you can make your own mark on this world someday. Remember that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are.
Destroying the source was the right thing to do. I still feel like I let him down. I think you would have made the same choice. Come on. You've got a plane to catch. Where where are we going now? Again, kind of totally forgot about Jonah. I listened to his last tape a thousand times, but it's as if I was hearing my father's words only now for the first time. It doesn't matter what choices he would have made. I have to make my own. The myth of Katesh was real. There are secrets out there that can change the world. I need to find them. Not for my father, not for anyone else. Trinity is still out there, and they're more powerful than I ever imagined. I can stop them. I can make a difference. I can make the right difference. Oh, is that where we're going next? The Price of Truth. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Two weeks earlier, <laughs> Northeastern Siberia. <laughs> Anna, you said another Croft doesn't have to die for this. What did you mean by that? You killed my father, didn't you? Trinity ordered his execution. But I, I could do it. You lying! I loved him. No! Oh! It's done. Good. What about Croft? No. Not yet. Uh, okay. Base camps. Oh, am I going to get loaded back into the game at some point? Oh, 97% complete. I feel like I did pretty good considering I did not, definitely did not get everything. I, I have questions. <laughs> like, why didn't Jacob destroy the source all those years ago? Why didn't Anna die as well? I guess she wasn't technically dying at that moment, so she wouldn't, but the, but the deathless ones died right away. So I don't, it doesn't really make sense. Like, but, why didn't Jacob destroy the source so many years ago when he knew it was bad? Like, well, I mean, plot point, but maybe he couldn't fight his way through the Deathless, but yet he showed up at the very end. Maybe Lara cleared enough of a path for him. I just, I have questions on why the source wasn't destroyed years ago by Jacob and like an elite few of the remnant and and all of these problems would have been stopped but the final cutscene with Lara and Jonah and again why wasn't Jonah in the Siberia scene with Lara and Anna like that doesn't make sense he should be there too right just just a few questions <laughs> but yeah that final cutscene with Lara and Jonah when they're going off somewhere when it goes to the map I wonder if that's where we're going in the next game I mean we're gonna find out on Tuesday but I, I do wonder if that's foreshadowing I do love the the song i am not going to be able to leave it in because it's no doubt copyrighted but uh, i'm a big fan of karen o and it's a great song and i like it very much and i may purchase it but anyway so yeah this does bring us to the end of rise of the tomb raider i liked the story i liked this game i think more than the previous game it seemed a little bit bigger there were more side quests to do there was lots of collecting and looking for documents and relics which i very much appreciated i feel like it was i don't want to say it was a little bit easier but i felt like it was a little bit easier this this time around since I knew what I was looking for. I did appreciate how the controls of the game didn't change. That also made it easier. Hopefully cross fingers the controls in the next game are also the same or somewhat the same because that would be really great if <laughs> they don't change how I'm supposed to be doing things. So anyway, back to the story. I did like the story of this game. It was, like I said, it was bigger. There were more characters involved. I like the big bad of Trinity who seems to be like they're going to be the big bad in the next, I was going to say movie, but it's a game in the next game as well. So I'm looking forward to see where that storyline goes. If she's just going to hunt them down and murder them all, or if there's an actual plot to go along with it. But anyway, back to this story. I did like the idea of this remnant of the society that had moved from, I'm guessing, ancient Byzantium, Rome, and to Russia. Not still sure the mechanics of how the city got buried underneath a glacier, but okay. But I did like that there was this whole secret community society separate from the rest of the world. That's very interesting and still living somewhat a very 
very more simplified life than the rest of the world, but they still have access to radios and things like that because of the Soviets. And again, I love the backstory of the documents, <laughs> you know, and the, and the relics. I really appreciate all of those items because they do definitely, at least to me, give me a sense of world building and explaining the story more. So character wise, Lara's interesting. She's definitely becoming more okay with violence than she was in the first game. Hesitant to see how she becomes in the third game, but she definitely is the most destructive archaeologist in the history of archaeologists, I think. <laughs> A tomb doesn't survive very long when Lara comes to visit. I liked the introduction of more interactable characters like Jacob and Sophia and also remnant side questers. That was an interesting thing that was, again, optional, but obviously I did because story. And it did fit relatively well into the story, I think. I mean, they weren't like super interesting side quests, but I don't feel like this is the game for that. I don't know why Jonah was there. I'm not going to lie. I, I it's, it's like, oh yeah, Jonah's still around. We can insert him in here. And I'm not really sure his purpose. And I feel like based on that last cutscene with the two of them, he's probably going to be in the next game, which again, I'm not opposed to Jonah as a character is just kind of, he doesn't seem to serve a purpose. But then again, Lara is off on her own doing all these fantastical things. So I don't know, like he's just probably there to help move the plot along minimally. I don't know. I, I wish they could have done more with him. He just kind of seemed like he was there for reasons. Graphics wise, I thought the game looked better than the previous one. I don't really have much to say about it. It looked beautiful. The, the scenes were beautiful. I loved all of the views of the original architecture of the Remnant Society before it was all buried under ice. Let's see, bugs. I didn't really encounter any. A couple crashed to desktops. Nothing out of the ordinary. The controls worked fine when I pushed the buttons correctly. <laughs> but that's a me malfunction, not a game malfunction. But overall, the game worked very well, looked beautiful, and the story wasn't <laughs> wasn't bad. I feel like I'm trying to convince myself again that the story was great, but it was fine. It wasn't the best story I've ever encountered in a video game. No, of course not. But it was it was entertaining. I didn't quit the game, so so there is that. <laughs> So with all that said, that does bring me to what is coming next on Tuesday, which is going to be the third game in this series, which I believe is called Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And I am very much looking forward to starting that game and seeing where we get to go in the world with Lara and it seems like Jonah and what adventures she will get to take on next. So with that, I believe I am ready to wrap things up in Rise of the Tomb Raider for now. I'm not sure if I'll revisit it because it doesn't seem like the story is going to change all that much. I could come back and 100% complete the game, do it on higher difficulties, but I'm not overly motivated to, to do that. I play games for the stories and this story is pretty much complete, I believe. But before I go, I do as always want to thank you so very much for coming along with me on this journey with Lara. And I hope you have enjoyed yourself as much as I have in this game and will stick around for the third one in this series. I do want to thank you all so very much for your views and your likes and your comments. I do read the comments as they come in. I don't always have as much time to respond back to them as much as I would like. Hopefully that will change in the future, but I do want you to know that I do really appreciate you taking the time to make a comment as it does help keep me motivated in the game and your tips are always extremely helpful when it comes to actual gameplay. <laughs> and with that, I think I've rambled on at you long enough. So I will say thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Tuesday with another new video.